Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is going to be about converting text to curves. There are two reasons you'd want to convert a text to a curve. This font ha just happens to be Bird of Paradise. I draw an awful lot of stuff in my house, and then I take it out to the laser, and I plug it in, and if that computer does not have bird of paradise it's going to try to change it to something else and it's kind of irritating when you've drawn quite a bit and you have to come back in the house and turn it into curves because you do not have that font now you can grab that font on a thumb drive and take it out to your shop and or vice versa and convert it to a curve so if you convert it to a curve and then you save it then you your Corel draw out there can open it up and it'll look just like this. Now, a lot of people don't know and they go, and I wasn't aware of this a while back when I first started lasering. I was thinking that the text was inside of Corel draw or if it was inside of Word Perfect or Word or Windows or 123. I thought the fonts were all in there. The fonts are in a folder in Windows. They come with your machine. So you can't all, you know, like if you're running Windows 10, I'm running like Vista here, and then I've got Windows 10 out in the shop. If Windows 10 does not have that font, uh, it doesn't do any good because it won't, it won't open or recognize that font. It'll try to change it. The other reason you'd want to convert it to a curve is to make it a little fancier or to change something. So when you've got your text selected, go up to object, break it apart. Now you can see it broke apart that one word. Go up to object, break it apart again. Now you've got just the T. Now you could grab the shape tool. Okay, I didn't convert it to a curve. So now this is a curve. Grab your shape tool, and let's just say you wanted this thing a little, a little longer. Or you know you could play around with it till the, till you get it perfectly the way you want it. You know, take your shape tool and make some of those nodes go away, and you could just add a little flair to your uh, drawing. You know, you could have this thing go all the way out here. So that would be the two reasons that you want to convert text to curves. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.